Good morning, everybody. So I am off to do some Dollar Tree shopping and I am planning on sharing with you guys what I can find. There's a few Dollar Trees I wanna stop at this morning and specifically, of course I watched a few hauls, which is, you know, always gets us in trouble and we have to run, <laughs> run to Dollar Tree immediately. But one of my favorite Dollar Trees last week had this little plastic iPad holder. So I'm, I regret, I kick myself for not getting it because I know it would be helpful when I'm, you know, sitting there crafting or whatever. So I wanna go look for that and try to pick that up. And then I had seen a couple hauls with some items I would love to find. But I thought I would give you guys just a little view of my little town here. And um, it's really getting so much better. Like FEMA is pretty much done in our area now. And um, the cleanup has really come so far. My streets have had a couple houses knocked down recently and I don't, I'm actually thinking FEMA has pulled out. It's been five months since Hurricane Ian. Sorry for you, for those of you who are new and I'm just rambling about something I talked about a couple months ago. I think FEMA is only has a few trucks left on the island now. I'm not sure the date they're pulling out, but I have heard that they are out of the north end of Pine Island now. So anyway, it's progressing. Lots of snowbirds and vacationers coming. So life's getting back to normal as much as possible. You know, as quickly as possible. I guess we can put it that way. Anyway. It's exciting. I'm, it's so great to uh, get back to normal. Let me show you. They're kind of setting up, if I can get it on camera, boat graveyards. Um, there's so many boats that were damaged in the storm. I forgot my packages to mail again. Gee whiz. I'm going to have to text my husband and ask him to do that for me. But anyway, so yes, I'm off to Dollar Tree. We're going to see what we can find. I also have to stop at Hobby Lobby and pick up some things that are on sale this week for the next collection. And yeah, I'm just kind of excited to get out and about today. All right, so the first of three Dollar Trees I popped in today, of course, I couldn't go without looking at the Easter items because the selection is amazing this year. The springtime storage is also amazing. I am in love with those colors and all of the different options. Another thing I noticed were the large amount of journals and diaries that they had, just so many different styles and the covers are adorable. I thought these were so much fun. They had so many different styles of these cell phone cases with that fun little chain to fit around your hand. So cute. I was pretty excited. These items were on my list. I was so happy to find those crafting paper pads with the little quotes on them and the adorable animals. So they are hanging with the stickers in two of the stores that I went to today. And then I found these stickers with these houseplant leaves on it. I was so excited for those. Went through all the stickers and the craft section. I didn't really find anything new and exciting today, but I am always impressed with their foam adhesive and the things that they have there. So, you know, that's always something to be on the lookout for. I did see these paper pack scraps and I thought those were pretty cool. And then these magnetic containers, I've decided to give these a second chance. I had picked up this package in the past and while I know we can add heavier magnets to the back of them, I just think it's, I don't wanna buy something that just doesn't work like it's supposed to. So anyway, I decided to give those big colorful ones a second chance and I'm having good luck with them so far. So I just found a lot of cute items to me. I thought these hair beads were super cute and of course could be used in crafting as well. They had a lot of new wall art and I thought this was 
cute. I really like the colors, the muted colors, and some of the phrases that they had on them. I didn't buy any of this pom-pom trim. I resisted, but it is so cute. And of course, that's in the Easter section. I have loved the Easter decor, so I must be in the second store now. And I just love some of these little Easter picks and things, all these different Easter crafts. If I still had kids at home or wasn't dealing with a lot of remodeling, I would sure love to play and all of that. So this was a section that was in one of my stores that's all like recycled materials, things made out of cork, made out of different types of paper and recycled paper about just being more eco-friendly. They have those little cork pen pouches there and pencil holders and then a whole line of mailers and some binders down there. I thought those were cool. I found some more of the little planners and notebooks. So this is the whole reason I came back to Dollar Tree today. When I was here last week, I was kicking myself for not buying that. So I was really excited they still had some. I'm loving the colors on all of the little paper organizers and those coupon holders. And of course, there's more of the planners. Again, loving all of the craft items. And this is a little spring section that they put together. Love the wooden gnomes and the little wooden snails. These little wooden flower pots are adorable. Again, just more super cute and pretty office supplies. I love all of those different colors and those pen holders and desk organizers. And then these were new to me. I saw these copper wire colored, they're calling it a wire net, but they're going to make those square organizers. They had the different wire connectors. You could get white or black. I saw that they even had a different type of connector at the top of that display. So keep your eye out for that if that's something you're interested in. I had never found these cutting dies at my Dollar Tree, so I was really excited to find those. And then just another cute display they put together with some of the metal crafting items. There are some cardboard boxes to alter there. And then I thought these metal pigs are so cute. They would be perfect in a farmhouse kitchen. And I love that boho beaded chain there also in that display. All right, so now getting into the haul, let's look at the items I picked up. So I was excited to find this little crafting paper pad with the quotes on it. I shared a little clip with the animals earlier, and I will say that I also saw these prints made into a little inspirational book over in their book section. So if this is something you'd rather have in book form for a gift or something, it had the same quotes like this one with the art in it. So if that's something you're interested in or you can't find the paper pads, maybe your Dollar Tree has the book. I also picked up three of these sticker packs. I love these. I really want to do a couple of plant journals, specifically one for myself to keep track of my plants. And I'm really running behind on that, but I was excited to find these. They are two dimensional stickers, um, but you know, you can always take them apart if you want them to be a little flatter. I picked up a Fairy Fun coloring book. I was on the lookout for one more of these. I'm going to need it for a future project I'm working on. So I also picked up a few of these metal dies. I was excited to find them, but I'm hesitant. You guys tell me I haven't watched anyone haul them. I've seen pictures of them, but I don't know how well they work. So you guys tell me in the comments, have you picked these up? I really like the leaves that monstera leaf right there. Have you tried them? Do they actually work? <laughs> I'm curious. I really love their stamps that they have. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that those work. Another thing I picked up was this notepad with the pretty butterflies that says be kind to all kind. I really liked these springy stickers that they had again two-dimensional with some glitter this time this is the dragonfly set and then I found a butterfly set 
Also, I saw my friend Jenny from Jen's Junk haul these gold rub-on butterflies and I've seen them there before, but for some reason when I saw her haul them, I had to have them too. You know how that is. Something else I picked up were one of these calendars. I do love these little tearaway calendar pads. They're super great if you want to fit it in your crafty projects, like as a little checklist or something. I really like checklists. <laughs> so I love that, but I picked it up for the mushroom on the notepad. I also picked up this one with the strawberries and the little gingham there at the bottom. I think that's super cute. Then I picked up the very last sheet at the Dollar Tree I was at with these tropical leaves. Again, thinking for my plant journal that I really want to make. It's just one of their little rectangle pieces of wallpaper. It's like a peel and stick thing. So it was literally the last one like this, or I would have gotten more, but I just love that. It's so cute. So I really liked these ribbons. I picked up one of each color that's really pretty pale blue color. I think it's supposed to be black, but it keeps messing with my eyes and it looks kind of navy blue, but I think it's supposed to be black. And then this pretty brown color. I picked up two more of these. I shared it in the little shop with me earlier how these seem to be sticking much better. I have them on the side of my filing cabinet over here. And while I haven't put a lot of heavy things in it, they seem to be sticking better than the two pack silver ones. I'm glad I decided to give them a try again because I do really like these. I picked up one more ribbon with this, with these cute little kitty cats on here. And then just a couple more things. I really don't need to be picking up Easter stuff this year, but I loved these little gift bags. I'm sure you've all seen them already, but I do need to send something to my oldest daughter who I didn't send a Valentine package to, and I heard about it this year. So I want to be sure to send her an Easter package. So thinking of that, I picked up the carrots and the bunny and I think those will be super cute together and I have one more thing I forgot this is absolutely what I went looking for today all right I picked up this tablet stand this I saw in my Dollar Tree last week and I kicked myself all week for not picking it up for my iPad so just to give you an idea I do have one of these flip out cases oh look it's 338 <laughs> so I have one of the flip out case stands and that works great but I love the idea of this sitting on my desk it fits perfectly with my iPad it has this little I have two of them here because <laughs> I picked one up for a friend but it has this little little lip here to hold it and then it also so you can see here that it is just a sheet of plastic molded to fit the iPad, but it has this lip on the back side, which holds it up a lot straighter up and down than this case piece does. For you know, when you're laying down and you're trying to watch something, I just, I was excited to get this. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree today. I hope that you enjoyed the shop with me and I hope that you enjoyed the haul and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.